Okay, brilliant. That's both, that's all start. So, like I was saying, we're going to be exploring a little bit about the feet today. And the reason being that is in our yoga postures, we really need to have a really strong foundation. And you'll probably notice when you've done things like trying to balance on one leg and things that your feet have to really work. All the little muscles are activating. So it's so key to have this strong foundation. So throughout our bodies, we have this kind of alternating pattern in the structure of our skeleton. So we have stable joints, mobile joints, and then stable joints, mobile joints, and so forth. It follows that same pattern, stable, mobile, stable. And if we were to look at our foot, the toes are a mobile part of the foot. The mid part of the foot is stable. And then the ankle is a mobile joint. And what, if this is kind of not in balance, then it, there's repercussions in the rest of our body. So what tends to happen, this might happen in your bodies, the mid part of our foot, if we kind of over pronate, you know, when you've got ankle sort of rolls in or your foot rolls out, then that's the mid foot losing its stability. And therefore things like the ankle joint might get really stiff. That then means up our knee becomes also out of whack and therefore goes up to the hip. So it's all completely interrelated. If we don't have the correct sort of structure of the foot in terms of stability and mobility, then we're gonna have all those repercussions up the rest of the body. So we're gonna focus on that today. So let's start by bringing yourself into the seated position. And if you can come into the sort of like diamond shape, so you've got the soles of the feet together. If you've got your socks on, pop your socks off. And this is ideally, ideally you'd practice yoga barefoot most of the time anyway. Hopefully your feet are nice and clean. <laughs> Always find that this is when you see all the grubby feet. So we're going to just give the feet a little bit of a massage to warm up. So it's quite good to use the heel of the thumb and give the soles of the feet a good rub. And then take the thumb to the base of the big toe. So that sort of bony part at the base of the big toe. And then across over to the little toe and then all the way down to the heel. And the reason why I'm pointing out these points is because if you were to look at the base of your foot you'd see, a hopefully you notice it's a triangle shape. You may have found in some yoga classes which is totally, there's nothing wrong with it, sometimes people will say root down into the four corners of your feet which is totally valid but if you were to look at the actual structure of your foot it's a triangular shape. And we're going to use that today in our standing where we can look, think about the foot almost like a tripod. So you've got those three points of contact and you're going to feel really strong by feeling that in your foot. Okay, so just one more big rub through the both of the feet. Good, and then we're going to extend the legs forwards and start to just give the legs a good shake out and then wiggle out your ankles. So like I was saying, your ankle joints want to be really mobile, so you can draw big circles, think about lots of space and movement in the ankle joints. And then our toes, let's wiggle the toes. So you wanna have really big spread of your toes as much as you can. Can you try and almost fan your toes out? So like, like I am with my hands, the cats have basically like moved all of these props all over the place. I hope you can still see me. So yeah, spread your toes. And what I want you to try and play with now is this wave-like movement for your foot. So if you can point your toes up, spread the toes as far as you can possibly spread them, and then start to point your toes forwards, round the foot as if you're creating this wave, and then lengthen the foot away. Does that make sense? It probably feels a little bit of a strange sensation, but we're gonna bring the feet back up. We're gonna point the toes away from us, so really point the feet. Lengthen the feet away and then bring the foot back up. So just one more like that. Spread the toes as much as you can and then bring the heels away. So let's just do that two more, sorry, because I want you to feel, as you really work the foot in this way, can you notice your calves have to play a part in this? Can you notice maybe even the quadriceps, the top of the legs start to activate? And as far up as your glutes as well, we're gonna start to feel what bit of um, work here to so the feet are completely connected all the way up the leg okay 
Do your feet feel okay? <laughs> nice spread toes, well done. So when you're ready, let's come over the knees and then make our way onto an all fours position nice and slowly. So if you've got those props there, just move the bits to the side. Brilliant. And with your hands just underneath your shoulders, can you just start to tuck your toes under? Good, and we're gonna shift our weight back into our heels. Now, if it feels all right to do so, can you pop yourself up onto your tiptoes? So you're kind of like in this squat at the back of your mat. Perfect. And then look down at your toes and see if you can really spread your toes with your fingers. So grab your fingers and then spread the little toes, middle toes and big toes as much as you can. So you've got this again, almost like fan shape of your toes on the mat. Okay, perfect. Well done. We're going to try and keep that throughout this whole session today where you've got really nice spread toes. So now taking a nice deep breath in, can you lift your chest up? Lovely. And then take a breath out. Can you drop the heels back? Don't worry if they don't go back too far and we're going to try and balance. Whee! <laughs> Have a little wobble. Good. And then inhale, slide the weight back onto your tiptoes. Bring your chest forwards. Nice, Jess. Good. And then exhale, drop your heels back. Let's do that one more time. So really spread those toes. Inhale, press the chest forwards. Good, and then exhale, press the heels back. Perfect, from here. Bring your hands back down to the ground. And then we're gonna exhale, flatten the feet here fully. Good, press the seat back to the heels. Okay, give the heels a little wiggle, the hips wiggle side to side. Inhale, come forwards. And then exhale, pause. Let's work for a little round of cat-cow stretch to warm up. So you're gonna inhale, start to let the tailbone lift up to the sky. Let the belly draw down and then the chest draw forwards as the head lifts up nice and slowly. Great. As you exhale, see if you can start to round your spine. Tailbone moves first. Upper back really spreads like as if you've got wings on your upper back and then hug the chin to the chest. Let's do that again. So it's, it's quite slow. So take it slow as you inhale. Roll the tailbone up. Draw the breastbone forwards and lift the head and the chest nice and slow. Lovely, relax the jaw at the top. And then exhale, let's lead the tailbone round, spread through the upper back and hug the chin into the chest nice and slow. Good, from there let's inhale, start to draw the heart forwards and just gaze at the top end of your mat, good. We're gonna exhale, start to lift the right leg off the floor so we're balancing there on that one knee, perfect. And then can you start to draw circles with your right ankle joint? So you might feel a little few clicks and pops there, just waking up that ankle joint. And then you can point through the toes and then flex through the foot there, so press the heel away. Yeah, nice, again, breathe in, let's point the toes and then breathe out, flex through the foot, good. From there, bend that right knee and see if you can really, that big quadricep muscle is really strong to lift that knee up. We take a breath in. And then exhale, hug the knee into the chest and round through your spine. Again, like that, inhale, let the knee lead the way up, then the chest lifts slowly. Good, and then exhale, round through your spine, hug the chin into the chest. Last one here, take a breath in, lifting the knee, lifting the chest, then the head last. And then exhale to round. Good, and then from here, inhale, lift the knee up, take a pause and breathe. You're gonna take the top of your right heel and you're gonna place it in the arch of your left foot. So if you think of the top of the right heel, the bony part of the top, slot it right into that arch of the left foot. Okay, great. Then push your bottom back, sit back. Now that might already feel enough. If you're not feeling much, you wanna to start to slowly sit up. Okay. You might start to wince a little bit. Some people this feels quite tight. What we're working on is in that left foot there, the part, part of the foot that's known as the fascia, so the connective tissue. Make sure you're breathing here. Take those nice deep breaths. If, best way to kind of like visually imagine what fascia is, is almost like this cling film that wraps around everything, the muscles, the bones, 
and it's that layer that we're just trying to press into ever so slightly here. So it feels quite tender, don't force it, maybe bring the hands forwards a little bit. And let's just take two more deep breaths. So a nice big breath in and out. Really nice, one more big breath in. Lovely, and out. Let's slowly release the hands forwards. When you're ready, inhale, lift the right knee again, nice and high with the knee. Exhale, hug the chin to the chest and round through your spine. Good, let's lower the knee to the ground and then slowly just sway your hips side to side. So just get a little bit of movement into the hips now. Rolling side to side. Maybe the head is nice and heavy, so you just get this mainly movement through your spine, nice and mobile through the spine this morning. Good, and then when you're ready, gazing to the top of your mat again. Let's inhale, lift the left leg nice and long. Good, when you're ready, exhale, start to slowly bend that left knee and let the big quadricep on that left leg lift. Even your glutes will be starting to work here. Take another breath in. And then exhale, let's start to draw the knee to chest and round through the spine, nice and slow. Inhale, the knee leads back first. The spine arches, the chest lifts, the gaze lifts. And then exhale to tuck that knee in and round through the spine, nice and slowly. Let's do that one last time. So when you're ready, inhale, lifting that knee, lengthening through the front of the body, the head, the chest lifts. Nice, and then exhale, chin to chest, nice and slow. Spread through your upper back. And then from here, just pause as you lift the knee. We're gonna now take that bony part, the front of the left foot, and place it on that inner arch of your right foot. So you wanna really feel that bony part there on that arch, and then when you're ready, relax the knees down and sit your seat back. Good, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, and yeah, great. If it feels okay, you can lift your spine. Again, if you're not feeling it, maybe have a little shuffle around. Try and get that bony part there to press into the right arch and take a few deep breaths. If you feel your face sort of tensing up there, see if you can just relax with a few deep breaths. A nice deep breath in and out. Inhale. Exhale. Everything from our posture will be so impacted by our feet. So if we can really take as much time as possible to really open up the feet, it will help us stand even taller. So let's slowly come forwards when you're ready. Inhale, lift that knee up towards the sky again. Strong through your quad, your glutes, lovely. Exhale, chin to chest and round. Last one, nice and slow. Breathe in, lift the head, lift the chest. Nice ladies, exhale, rounding through, chin to chest, knee to chest. And then when you're ready, lower the knee to the ground and slowly sway your hips again, side to side there. Good, just move these cats because they're going a bit nuts. Come on, <laughs> come in. And then when you're ready, from there, you're gonna tuck the toes under and then start to lift the hips all the way up to the sky and we're gonna make our way into our first downward facing dog. Now, if you're familiar with downward dog, just come into it how you would normally practice, whether that's with bent knees or whatever it feels good for you. Come here. Good, maybe you walk out your feet a little bit, maybe there's a little bend of one knee and then the opposite knee, yeah, nice. And then just start to come to a point of stillness. You're welcome to bend the knees here if this helps, but can you start to press the heels down and actually lift your tiptoes up? So rather than lifting your heels, can you bring your toes off the mat? So if that requires you to really bend the knees, see if you can lift those tiptoes. So not the heels, press the heels back and then lift the tiptoes. Yeah, that's it, nice. Feel the toes lift up. Notice where that impacts your body. Do you feel that in the shins? Maybe further up the leg? Yeah, a couple of deep breaths. Lifting those toes as much as you can. Exhale. Nice, one more deep breath. Good, and then exhale. Start to lower the knees to the ground. Nice and slow, well done. We're gonna lengthen the feet back and behind. Bring your hands either side of your knees. Now try and keep the feet nice and flat. 
draw the belly in so you almost kind of shorten your waist a little bit here and then inhale can you lift the knees up so it takes a lot of upper body strength here but we kind of press into the tops of the feet and it might just be one knee at a time that's totally fine and it might feel quite strange because your foot's in that position that we're not used to putting it in so cramp sometimes you feel so let's just do that a couple more times if you can go a little bit further you might lift your bottom nice and high up towards the sky a couple more of those yeah so you've got that rounded spine the knees hugging into your chest take a nice breath in exhale press the hips to the sky one more deep breath in exhale hips to the sky well done really slowly let's walk the hands forwards from here we're going to actually now tuck the toes under and lengthen back into our first plank pose. Now, if you do suffer from any back pain, feel free to keep the knees down, that's more important. But we can try now, if you're in your plank, reach the heels back and try to engage your glute here, the buttocks muscles, so there's no collapsing in the back. We're gonna take a breath in and then exhale. Can you swivel your heels to the left? Make sure that your shoulders are stacked over the wrists, good. And then inhale back to center swivel the heels to the right as you exhale good back to center i want you to really fan out your toes so like we did at the start swivel the heels to the left toes nice and spread exhale back to center good take a breath to prepare last one exhale swivel heels to the right and really fan out those toes well done back to center breathe release the knees set your heels back and we're in a child's pose well done, let the forehead press to the ground. Take a deep breath in and a nice slow breath out. Really nice, deep breath in, slow breath out. So try and feel the breath expand, the belly on the thighs. And then feel as you exhale, lots of space into your back body there. Really good, well done. Let's start to slowly come forwards back to all fours. We're going to tuck the toes, lift the knees and arrive back into that downward facing dog. So spread the toes, spread the fingertips nice and wide. Good. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Good. From there, start to walk your toes forwards to the top of your mat. So if you need to bend the knees, that's totally fine. Or walking with straight legs, making your way all the way to the top of your mat. Well done. Nice and slow, good, perfect. Right, so at the top of your mat, bring your feet to about hip distance apart and just fold over your thighs so you're quite heavy, like a rag doll, flopping over those thighs. The knees can be bent and just let the head feel nice and heavy there. Let's take two nice long breaths. A deep breath into the back of your body. Exhale. Again, a deep breath into the back of your body. Exhale and then grip into your toes, thinking of that triangle we spoke about at the start, rooting through big toe, little toe joint and the heel and let's start to roll the spine up bone by bone. Letting the head be the last thing to come up. Well done. Give your arms a little shake out, your feet a little wiggle, your toes a wiggle and breathe. Okay, well done. Feet together, feet about hip distance apart. Let's start to warm up a little bit more into those legs. We're gonna soften the knees. And as you inhale, can you send your hips back and reach the arms forwards to our chair pose? Lovely, let's find that triangle, that tripod of our foot. So toes rooted, heel rooted. Take a deep breath in, lift the hands a little bit if you can. And then exhale, fold all the way to the ground. You can do that two more. Press into the big toe joint, the little toe, the heel, inhale, sink the seat back, rise up through the fingertips. Exhale, pause. Good, one more breath, inhale. And then exhale, fold. We're gonna add on. This time as you inhale, sink the seat back, but can you at the same time rise up on your tiptoes? So we're pressing through big toe, little toe, the heel is coming off the floor. Inhale, amazing, and then try and press the heels back. Exhale, fold all the way to the ground. We have one more like that. So when you're ready, 
start to slowly shift the knees, bend the knees, shift the hips back, draw the belly in and then rise up onto your tiptoes, heels lifted, lovely, take a deep breath in, exhale, one more breath, inhale and then nice and slowly exhale, fold, well done, together release the head, release the neck and then roll up like a rag doll, super slow, bone by bone, head is last to come up, amazing, unfurl those shoulders, give them a couple of rolls and then when you're ready take your hands to prayer at the heart centre, I want you to maybe if you can close the eyes for a moment, hopefully you already feel quite warm and just checking in for a moment how you're feeling, how are you breathing, can you feel the breath expanding into the ribs, the chest, through the body and then exhale. Let's do that again, a nice deep breath in. Good, and an exhale. Perfect. From here, we're gonna inhale, start to reach the hands all the way up to the sky, so nice and long through your body. Good, as you exhale, we're gonna fold all the way down to the ground. We're going to inhale, start to lift the chest away from the thighs, this halfway lift, we lead the heart, the spine is nice and long. And then exhale, plant the hands down, can we step back into a plank? Now if you need to drop the knees, you're very welcome to. In your plank, engage the buttocks, take a breath in. And then we're going to exhale, take the heels to the left. Good, again fan those toes, inhale back to centre and exhale toes to the right, heels rather to the right, let's do that one more to each side, inhale centre, exhale heels to the left, nice, keep drawing in at the waist, inhale to centre, exhale heels to the right, wonderful, back to centre, inhale, now exhale you can lower knees or if you're feeling quite warm you can lower through a plank, chaturanga to the ground, and then really hug those elbows in, reach through your toes, engage those glutes. We inhale to our first cobra, so a little back bend here. So notice here where you feel it, can you squeeze the buttocks, can you lift up through the chest, the shoulders back, lovely, a deep breath in. Nice, and then tuck the toes, exhale, find your downward facing dog pose. Really nice there, so just take a few deep breaths, try and extend those legs back, have a little play again if you want to just perhaps send the heels back but lift through those tiptoes, just for a change in your downward dog, yeah nice, extend the hips to the sky, one more breath in and out, good, you're going to slowly look forwards to the top of your mat now can you from here inhale take that right leg up to the sky, give it a go, yeah nice and then exhale step the right foot forward but just bring it forwards about halfway on your mat, yeah that's it, you can bend the knee if you need to, now root down through that right foot, inhale send the left leg up to the sky, good and then as you exhale can we step that left foot to the top of the mat, so it's like we're doing a walking split forwards, then last time ground the left foot, inhale right leg to the sky, you've got it Jess, <laughs> well done, and then exhale step the foot forwards and fold, well done you found the top of the mat, from here we're going to open the arms out like wings beside us, so really spread the fingertips, inhale rise all the way up to the sky, so standing nice and tall and strong, hands to your heart, exhale, really well done, spread those toes, feel that strength of your feet rooting down and we go again, inhale reach to the sky and then exhale fold, on the inhale lift through your chest, that halfway lift and then exhale we step back into our plank, so ground the hands, shoulders over the wrists, take a breath in to prepare, Good, and then exhale, swivel the heels to the right, try and keep the shoulders over the wrists, back to centre, inhale, nice, exhale, swivel the heels to the left, nice, inhale, back to centre, let's do that one more to each side, so exhale, heels to the right, good, inhale to centre, exhale, heels to the left, 
inhale back to center good from here option to lower the knees or you can take it through that chaturanga if you have it in your practice you bend the elbows lower and then inhale reach those toes nice and long lift through your chest it's an upward dog maybe for some of you or a cobra here lift the chest nice and then tucking the toes exhale downward facing dog pose deep inhale lift the hips to the sky exhale good breathing in breathing out nice if you feel any tension the shoulders there maybe it works to broaden that make the hands wider also have a feel in your body see how it feels to see if you can wrap your armpits to face one another so you get that external rotation and broadens across your shoulders a little bit good let's take one more breath in and out slowly from here let's inhale take that left leg now up towards the sky three-legged down dog then we're going to exhale step it through just halfway on the mat good now root down through the left toes the left heel inhale right leg to the sky good as you exhale step that right foot through to the top think of that tripod that triangle to support your foot and then inhale left leg to the sky well done and then exhale release the foot to the top fold over your thighs give yourself a little wiggle and a roll there through the spine we open the hands wide like wings and then inhale rise up to the sky stand tall and strong well done hands to the heart exhale good hope you're feeling nice and warm now take a nice deep breath in and out let's start to add on so from here nice and slowly we're going to come back to that little chair squat position we're going to bend the knees inhale reach the hands up and then start to sit the seat back nice and low exhale broaden across your shoulder blades now find that tripod in your feet toes rooted heels heated what heated <laughs> rooted take one more breath in exhale come up to stand this time we're going to come back up on our tiptoes so inhale hands lift sit the seat back behind draw the belly in so you sort of kind of um, shorten your waist a little can you then rise up on your tiptoes nice breathe in breathe out last time inhale and then exhale fold all the way down hopefully gracefully well done take a breath in halfway lift take a breath out fold good let's inhale step the right leg back now and slowly lower the knee to the ground good from here we're going to bend through that left knee and we're actually going to bend it quite far forwards we're working on this talus joint the ankle joint here and we're going to really press forwards yeah nice so we can relax through the back foot take a breath in and then exhale lean back so we stretch through the front of that left ankle joint yeah lovely let's do two more inhale reach the heart forwards lunge forwards quite deeply that's it great and then exhale press back one more like that inhale press the chest forwards and then exhale lean back okay from here inhale come forwards keeping the back leg long can you begin to lift the back knee but keep your foot like a ballerina point so again it's not a traditional pose with the toes tucked we're lengthening as much as we can through that back foot that's it great take a breath in and then lower take a breath out let's do two more inhale lift the back knee see if you can go a little bit higher each time exhale to lower last time inhale lift the knee and then exhale to lower well done we're going to tuck the toes inhale rise up to this low lunge here hands on the front thigh and then spread all those toes nice and wide to really fire up those legs let's inhale rise up to a high lunge now so it takes a lot of power through your feet to come up yeah find your balance spread through the toes that front heel take a breath in and then we're going to open the elbows really wide as you take a breath out so this encourages lots of space into your chest nice from here let's inhale reach the hands forward as far as you can and then exhale press back through the chest yeah nice two more like that inhale reach forwards and then exhale reach back 
One more. Inhale, reaching forwards. And exhale, drawing back. Perfect. From here, really, really slowly, you can keep your hands out for this sort of counter balancing act. You might want to step the back toe forwards ever so slightly. Now we're going to shift our hips back in space. We're then going to work towards really deeply bending that back knee. Good. And then you've still got the back heel lifted. Try and shorten your waist and then round your spine. And we're coming to what I can only describe as this kind of matrix style move. Takes a hell of a lot of balance. <laughs> You're going to see if you can straighten that front leg, keep pressing through that back foot, spread the toes on that front foot as well. That's it. Back feet, heel is lifted if you can. Uh, you'll probably wobble a hell of a lot and that's fine. I want your feet to work. I want everything in your legs to work to balance you. And you start to lean back. Yeah, well done. When you're ready, bend that front knee. Let's inhale, reach forwards again. One more time, exhale, lean back, bend the back knee, start to straighten through that front leg. See if you can almost shorten your waist, round your spine a little bit, and then lean back, matrix style. That's it. Yeah, really nice, good Chloe, yeah, fantastic. One more breath here. And then when you're ready, bend that front knee, lean forwards. Well done, release the hands to the floor, exhale. Step back, maybe down dog, or maybe you're happy to come straight into plank. We take a breath in. We can lower the knees or you can lower through your chaturanga. Exhale. Hug your elbows in and inhale, lift your chest, cobra. Nice, everyone, and then tuck toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Find your downward dog, spread through the fingertips, inhale. Press down through that index finger a little bit more maybe, exhale. Inhale, hips to the sky. And exhale, really nice. When you're ready, step, walk, jump, or maybe you hop to the top of your mat, whatever you prefer, your way of getting to the top. Take a breath in at the top and lift your heart, lift your chest. Nice, take a breath out and fold. Open your arms out like wings and together we inhale, rise tall to the sky, hands above the head and hands to your heart, exhale. Really nice, all of you, right. Feet hip distance apart, let's go again. Inhale, sink your seat nice and low, lift the hands to the sky, chair pose. Keep those thighs rooting side by side, the knees forwards, we take a breath in. Exhale, stand tall. This time we add in our balancing. Inhale, sink the seat low, reach the hands nice and high, and then can you rise up on your tiptoes? Yeah, really nice. Nice and long through the sides of your waist. Take a breath in, and then exhale, fully fold all the way down to the ground. Lovely. We're gonna inhale, step our left leg back, and lower the knee to the ground. Perfect. Inhale, start to really bend that front knee more than you normally would. So we get that right over that ankle joint there, reaching the chest forwards. Good, and then flatten the back foot. Exhale, lean back, lengthening through that right ankle joint. A few more like that. So inhale, lean the weight forwards. Great, exhale, pressing back. One more like that. And just notice when you shift your weight back and forwards, Notice what happens to your foot there. Do you roll outwards? Do you roll inwards? And this can just give you an indication of where the foot may have some imbalances. So see if you can really keep it neutral right in the middle of your foot there. Lovely, right, let's start to add on. Keeping the back leg nice and long. Inhale, can we lift that back knee? And you've got that ballerina point on the back foot. Yes, nice, and then exhale to lower. Good, let's do two more. So inhale, nice and long and active through that left leg. Perfect, exhale, lower. One last time, inhale, lift. You got it, well done. And then exhale, lower. Let's tuck the back toes. Spread the feet, nice and energy, lots of energy through those feet. 
lift the front chest, lift the chest to the thigh, and then when you're ready, inhale, rise up to a high lunge. Great. Yeah, if you need to step the back foot a little bit for stability, feel free to do so. Let's find this opening through the chest. We call it these cactus shaped arms as we draw the elbows back. Lovely. Take a nice big breath in. Exhale. Together, let's inhale, reach forwards as far as we can. And then exhale, lean back. Nice, two more. Inhale, lean forwards. Exhale, draw back. You've got one more here. Inhale, lean forwards. Exhale, draw back. Now, coming to that matrix style move. Take your time with it, nice and controlled. Start to slowly shift your weight back a little to that back foot. Can you start to work towards bending that back knee? And the moment I've got my front foot grounded, and you can notice again that wobble on the front foot, but can you begin to scoop the waist in? So you shorten the waist, you round through the back, and can you shift your weight back so the front toes pop off the floor? Yeah, and we're balancing there. We're trying to keep the front leg nice and long. Woo, embrace those wobbles, take a breath in. Exhale, slowly bend the front knee, reach forwards, inhale. Final one like that, exhale, that's slowly, almost as if you're dodging a bullet, lean back, shorten that waist, round the spine, really long now through that front leg, ooh, feel like you need a wall beside you to balance, but trying as hard as you can, this is your feet working, all the leg muscles working, well done. And then slowly bend that front knee, inhale, lean forwards and release the hands to the ground, exhale. Well done, let's step back plank or lower the knees, take a breath in and then exhale, let's lower the knees, maybe chaturanga if you wish to, lower the chest, reach the toes long, hug your elbows in, inhale, cobra. So your back bend here, the glutes are active to support you. It's the upper back doing the movement here. Breathe in, really nice, tuck toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, well feel free to have a little rest down on your knees coming into child's pose if you prefer. Or you can lower the knees and press the seat to the heels. You can always take your knees super wide here if that feels more comfortable to do so as well or pop a blanket on top of the heels if you can't quite let the seat touch the heels but looking really good. Two more breaths here. A nice deep breath in. Really good. A slow breath out. One more breath in. And a breath out. So when you're ready, if you're not in child's pose, lowering your knees, you're coming to meet in a child's pose. And then from there, really slowly, everyone meeting in all fours position, tucking the toes, and then making your way up super, super slow into a downward dog. And then walk your hands all the way to the back of your mat. So we're now in a forward fold at the back of the mat and we're gonna slowly rise up bone by bone through the spine, coming to stand tall. Well done. I'm quite hot now, I hope you are too. So just take a few moments to wiggle out those toes, shake out the arms. And we're gonna to come to our balancing pose now, our final balancing pose, tree pose. So we've worked a lot on the feet now, so I want you to spread through the toes nice and wide. You want to feel that fan shape through your feet. And then press more into your left foot here. Think of that tripod again, that triangle shape of your left foot. And then can you hug the right knee to your chest? Good. Now it helps to find a focal point ahead of you, something that's not moving, your dristy, that you can keep your eyes gazed at. And then from here, you can take the sole of your right foot. Now it can be placed either on the opposite ankle. If you place it on your knee, please don't apply pressure on the knee. Or lastly, you can place it on the inner thigh there and you just push the heel into the inner thigh if that works there. Good. Keeping the hands in prayer there and hands firmly pressing together. Now, 
you might start to feel that left foot really working a little not so much a wobble but it's trying to stabilize you here so pressing firmly big toe little toe heel of the foot let's take a few deep breaths feel tall lift up to the sky exhale good one more last breath and out really nice well done if you want to go a little bit further so some of you might want to stay put in tree pose if you do want to go a little bit further you can take the index finger middle finger of the right hand and you could come to extended leg pose so you could reach that right leg long holding on with your fingertips to the toes reaching up through the sky with that left right heel for one more breath in and then everybody slowly release that right foot to the ground and be still just going to take this off i'm sure you've probably been hearing a bell going off for the last 40 minutes i'll take that off and then finally we're coming to the other side okay so spread the toes nice and wide this time the left toes this is your side to root down think of that triangle inhale let's bring left knee to the chest Good, so again, find your focal point nice and steady. Taking the left foot, maybe it's again at the opposite ankle, lightly against the knee, or finally, you can take it into that inner thigh. So if you're pressing on the inner thigh, just make sure you press the heel on for stability. So then when you're ready, pause, allow those wobbles, everything to move, everything's working to stabilize you. Pressing into that right big toe. Yeah, if you fall out, don't worry, come back again. Press into the right big toe, the right little toe, the heel of the foot, find your tripod. Breathe in, breathe out. Really nice, breathe in, breathe out. Steady your gaze, steady your mind, steady your breath. Lovely, and then if you wanna go a little bit further, you're welcome to take left index finger, middle finger and then slowly lifting that left leg away into standing leg pose brilliant take a nice deep breath in there exhale one more breath and release well done nice and slowly release the feet to the ground give your feet a bit of a stomp out really good and then from there take a breath in reach all the way up to the sky wonderful as you exhale we're gonna send the seat back reach the hands forwards and come to a squat pose so nice and low with your seat if you can bring the hands to the ground now don't worry about where the heels are in space they can come up and we're just going to swivel our weight left to right here swivel left to right on the feet the hips will open a little bit as well which feels nice good hopefully your feet feel quite broad now and then we're going to slowly walk the hands behind us till you slowly find the mat with your buttocks down and come to sit in the middle of your mat take your hands to the front of your knees press down through your feet again if you can like the tripod shape let's inhale lift the chest up to the sky good and then as you exhale start to slowly round your whole back chin to the chest and then walk your hands down your thighs if you're feeling super strong this morning you can keep your hands lifted and roll all the way down onto your back nice and slow once you're on your back just hug your knees to your chest give your back a gentle massage from side to side good that's it so giving the back a bit of a massage before we come to lie down when you're there bring your feet down now bring your feet out as wide as your mat so feet nice and wide and then you're going to slowly let your knees roll to the right side good and then from there open your elbows wide so we come back to that sort of cactus shape that we did standing up before and then let your head turn in the opposite direction now really breathe nice and deeply right into your left lung. Exhale. Again, a nice deep breath right into the left lung. Good, exhale. Maybe the eyes close a little bit here. 
you soften the cheeks and the lips. We take one more breath in. Well done, and a breath out. Nice and slowly, let the knees draw back to the center. And when you plant your feet back down, just take a pause. A pause to just feel that your body is just completely held by that ground beneath you. Good. From there, we now uh, take a breath in. And then take a breath out, lower the knees to the left hand side now. Let the head turn the other way. Again, maybe the eyes close. Take a nice deep breath right into your right lung. And a breath out. Again, a nice deep breath into that right lung. And a breath out. And then when you're ready, just super slow, let the knees return to the center. Again, take a moment to pause and just feel yourself being really held by the ground. Start to reach your heels to the top two corners of your mat. Let your arms begin to relax down beside you. And we'll take a few short moments now to come to rest in our final resting pose, Shavasana. Now, if you prefer to sit in a seated meditation, you're welcome to do that. Or if you're comfortable now, just closing the eyes. Just scan through your body a moment. Just feel the body heavy, resting down into the ground. Notice which parts of the body sink down and connect to the mat. And together, let's take a deep inhale. Maybe open the, wire, the mouth wide now and exhale. And just taking a few long breaths. Noticing the body feeling heavy, but soft. And beginning to relax there. Feeling that gentle rhythm of your breath. Breathe. 